Hello everyone, today I will show you how easy it is to test SAP interfaces uh, and today we will be testing the e-commerce so to do that let's copy the URL uh, so that we can create a suite with SAP e-commerce Uh, usually we would provide username and password, we don't need it at this time, and we don't need generic tests. Let's create the test suite. So all tests field in test suites uh, will always start from the landing page URL. So now let's uh, quickly create uh, a test. Uh, usually you would write it in English and I'll show you certain things we will change however to speed things up I will use the recorder uh, uh, so that uh, it will help us to uh, start creating steps and what recorder does is unlike everything else it just explains what you're doing with the application from a user's perspective in english all right so let's enter phone uh, here and uh, let's click on smartphone alpha Perfect. Now let's add to cart. Let's validate that we got this message visible. After which we will uh, I see it's called show shopping cart. We click on show shopping cart. then we want to validate that we have our smartphone alpha under this items in shopping cart after which we will click proceed step two step three and then enter some data Peter Pan into cult ho card holders name then card would be 4111 all ones uh, security code 123 and expiration date 042029 we'll press tab Click step four and an address Montgomery. Zip code country. So we entered all of these, it's address, city, zip code, country, and note. Click step 5, click order summary, and click submit. We will validate that uh, this message is shown. Click yes. We'll click validate that this message is shown and then we'll click return to shop and we'll validate that we return to shop by validating that this message is shown all right let's stop the recording and uh, create purchase and let's uh, clean it up a little bit before we'll kick it off. 
first of all, um, we don't need open URL. And I think uh, we somehow missing uh, clicking on the phone. So anyway, we can edit manually, click smartphone alpha. We get to cart, check if it contains this. Um, I don't think we, oh, we were validating. We were validating this, this thing. So here, I believe we click, um, again, always check. So if we hover over, show shopping cart. Let's fix this and put show shopping cart. Here, yes, I remember we selected more than we need. All we need to do is not click, but validate that this um, is on the page below items and shopping cart. Then uh, I think we did we miss also clicking proceed. Maybe I accidentally deleted it. Let's do a click proceed. So I remove the scrolls which we did. Uh, like this uh, was using the uh, placeholders, but we can actually use you know, like a, a, a name. And it missed the card. As you can see, it's very easy to add. Our stuff is missing. So if this was address, city, you could use either way, you can use these placeholders, but I prefer that it would be related to a uh, text on the left, and that was, I believe, note. And let's we also need to type tab, otherwise button will not appear. We don't need scroll. Uh, auto summary, summary, submit, which can then we click. Um, page contains this and click return. I don't remember what was the name of the button. But uh, this is our test. Let's add and run and see how that is going to work. So the goal here was to create the steps uh, purely from end user's perspective, as you can see, it's all in English, as close as is technically possible to how uh, you would write it as a manual test. As you can see here, 
we take it alone and go for the steps as we see oh we missed security code that's not just not gonna go through I guess yep after card number just like this and we will restart the test so the way it works is it will kick off uh, the OS open the browser open landing URL and then we will start executing steps so it typed phone click on smartphone alpha get here click add to cart And there we go, we went all the way in here. So now it entered everything, the button is in there. Let's see if it entered everything correctly, yes. It used node in here, on the left. Uh, we click step 5. summary submit we validated this text click yes and validated this and then return yeah it was indeed return and we validated what we returned uh, successfully so as you can see within five minutes we have completed a uh, complete end-to-end -end test of a uh, a checkout flow for e-commerce for SAP and it executed pretty quickly 36 seconds and the great thing about it is it's all in English and as soon as uh, all those steps from a user's perspective it still will be true the uh, test will execute and it will continue to be successful Thank you very much.